Hi there. Welcome to another episode in a series that I like to call Monday Make It, Send It. So I uh, made this card for one of my stamping friends and it will go out in the mail tomorrow along with another one that I'm going to make in front of you folks. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I got my um, card layout first of all. Every once in a while I'll pull out old catalogs and um, try to get an idea with a different lay layout or color scheme or something like that. So this is 2017-2018 uh, catalog that the cover looks like this and on page uh, 55, bring it up a little closer here, this bright green card uh, is kind of what I went by and I wanted mine to be um, similar to that of course I wanted fall colors in a new set out of the uh, holiday catalog so that's kind of how I got my layout from that and then <clears throat> what I did was I used uh, well I'll go ahead and show you my color combo first here so I used terracotta tile soft suede very vanilla and garden green and then with the soft suede, I actually did the card base, so just your normal standard size that's scored in the middle, and then I did an extra layer for the embossing folder. So you can see these leaves on here, and that is the uh, layered leaves 3D folder that I did on a separate piece. So um, two layers of soft suede, and then I already did that ahead of time, so I did the embossing. And it looks like that. And then the ribbon, I combined the, um, I've got stick, I've got tear, tear and tape on the back, but I uh, combined the burlap ribbon and the terracotta ribbon that has just a touch of crumb cake because I figured these two would go well together. And so I went ahead and just put the sticky strip on the back of this one. And then of course in between, I've got sticky or tear and tape also to hold the two together and then I can get this little booger off we will put this down here on the card like so and then I just cut the edges of the ribbon at an angle so pretty simple just like the card sample in the book and then uh, with the set I told you I wanted to use something new so this is to every season it's a set that's on page uh, 51 in the holiday book so I just basically pulled out the leaves and then I pulled out the sentiment sentiment that says thankful each day for you so that's my stamp set and then I also use the uh, oval this oval die and that is the stitch shapes dies and oh I had one additional leaf this leaf right here in the terracotta tile, it was done with this, the uh, seasonal layers dies that's been around for a few years. And this leaf that's hanging off the edge, that's what I cut my leaves out of with that die. So just an FYI. And then, um, so I already did the oval ahead of time and I stamped my sentiment. And then I stamped three leaves. And what I'm gonna do with my three colors, I've got uh, soft suede, and garden green, of course, and the terracotta tile. So I'm gonna add some color to these leaves with these uh, sponge daubers, okay? So it doesn't really matter which color. I'm gonna go ahead and start with terracotta tile. Okay. And then I'm just gonna use a piece of scratch paper here to get some of the ink off because I don't want it full strength um, right you know it's right straight from the pad so get some of that off and then just add some color to these leaves so it doesn't really matter however you want it to look because you're going to fill in with some green and some of the suede anyway so you can make it darker or lighter how much ever color you want to add on those and we're going to end up cutting them out of course so garden green, I'll just go ahead and do that one next. And like I said, get the most of the ink off of there. So we just wanna add 
some color on here, and that's kind of too much, but we can fix that with brown. No rhyme or reason to this, really. Just add the color as you see fit. And then, like I said, I'll use the soft suede last and kind of fill in with the brown color. Sponge daubers are really fun to use because they fit right on your finger and they're easy, easy to add color to any of your stamped images that you would like. So add a little brown there, add a little brown there. Okay, now this is not the prettiest color job, but you can see the three different colors added to my leaves there. And then with the magic of video, I've got some prettier ones that I did ahead of time. So I already colored them with the sponge daubers and cut them out. And then of course, this is the dye that I told you I used for that. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these on the card. And bingo, bingo. That will be all. So let's go ahead and use some glue dots. And I'll use a couple, couple glue dots on these bigger leaves. Okay. They're not gonna be placed exactly the same as the other, but you know what? There's no rhyme or reason to it, just any way, any old way works. And that's the beauty of handmade cards is there's no two alike. So that's just perfectly fine. Kind of run them off the edge of the oval and then one more here, like so. So I've got all my leaves on there, and then I'm gonna use dimensionals on the back. And this card will be done here shortly. Okay. I think I told the story last week how I use way more dimensionals now than I ever used to. So some of the people that have been stamping with me for 20 years ago, they know that I used to be very uh, sparse with my dimensionals. Not anymore. I just use the heck out of them because you know what? I know where I can get some more. So that's all good. I'm just going to place this down here. And there you go. Thankful each day for you. So like I said, this is the card I made right now. This is the card I made ahead of time. And these will be in the mail tomorrow for a couple lucky stamping friends. And I appreciate you stopping by. Check back next Monday for another Monday Make It, Send It. Thanks for stopping by.